Okay, let's talk about directory browsing. What this is, the premise of it is has a funny story that goes along with it, and you may have suffered through another video where I've told the same story. Um, it begins with me talking to one of my little geeky buddies on IRC, and we're chatting, and um, he says that he bought a new motorcycle and he wants to show me pictures of it. I'm like, well, that's cool. So he gives me the link, and let me um, tell you what, let me bring up a uh, something to write on. Okay, I thought this would go better with, with some actual examples. A buddy of mine, I won't tell you his name, <laughs> was uh, wanting to show me a picture of his motorcycle. And so he posted a couple of links that looked like this. It had the, uh, the URL, and I could see it went to users and pictures and motorcycle. And I saw motorcycle 1, motorcycle 2, motorcycle 3, and I saw the pictures of motorcycles. These all end in a file name. That's a file name sticking out right there, easy enough to recognize. So I looked at his pictures of his motorcycles, and it turns out I was not doing a lot that day. And what I did was scrape the um, file name off there and leave this link with a trailing slash. What does that do? Yeah, if, if there's not a default document in there, like an index.html or default.htm, something that's in that list of default documents, Windows is going to say, well, there's not a default document. Then it has to make a decision. Do I let them just see the entire directory or not? Well, my friend had not turned that off. So I did that, clicked enter, and boom, I've got a listing of all of his, what? Pictures. So I'm going click, 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 click. Oh, this is fun. And in a couple of minutes, I'm not thinking anything about it. I'm all innocent. I'm typing back into the channel saying, hey, who's this girl in the green shirt at the party? <laughs> well, he took exception to my nosiness and informed me that I was being very nosy and related that to if, uh, if he had asked me to get something out of a drawer at his house, would I just go digging through the entire drawer? So apparently he did not, didn't appreciate that very much and um, within the next few minutes he had directory browsing turned off on that directory. So just in that silly little story, you can see that directory browsing can be a security hole, especially if you open it up for a big subdirectory underneath something. So directory browsing is something that can be really handy in the right place. And it's the, the kind of thing you really need to, to look at and think about before you do it. Kind of like starting a fire. Before you start a fire, you should think about it. It can be great, but it should be in the right place. You don't want to start one out here in the hallway. You want to have, have it in the right place. Um, what, what, uh, what it would be handy for is, let's say I've got all these videos and in the like the second Linux class the guys in there said you know we'd like to have access to some of the old videos and I didn't want to go through and do a web page where they could link on every one of them so what I did was just set up directory browsing on a directory to say okay if you click on this you just see a listing of all the videos and you can just pick and choose and click on whatever you want and I'm okay with that I also don't have any subdirectories under that that they could go digging around in so let's see how this actually works. Okay, what I've done is, there's my server page, and I've gone to inetpub www root, just using the default page. I've created directory one, and it contains three files in it, each one of them named dir1. The purpose of this is just by getting a directory, I can, can see by the file names which directory I'm, I'm in. And directory 2 is similar. My code looks like this. Some more of my beautiful code. Just something to bring it up. And I've done an href of dir1 slash. Okay. Since I don't have anything right there before the quotes, I'm not pulling it from anywhere else. It has to be in the current directory. The trailing slash is our giveaway here. Anytime you throw in a trailing slash, that means a directory. So there we go. Now let's see if this actually works. Now I, I haven't applied directory browsing one way or the other in Windows. So first thing we need to do is test this without putting any kind of filtering on it. Command IP config and I am 254.125. I'm going to hop out, going to bring up a web browser, 254. Try to get this clicked on. There we go. 125. Was that right? 
This is my directory browsing example. So what this is going to tell us is, okay, by default, does Windows 2000 server IS7, does it have directory browsing turned on? No. To their credit, that's a good idea. You don't want it turned on by default. I think in the past that might not have been the case. So there we go. That's good. Let's go back to our window. Make another point. Is there an index.html in that directory? No. Is there a default.htm? Is there nothing that would look like a default document? That's just some, some junk. So let's go start programs, administrative tools, and get up to IIS manager. Okay. I'm going to navigate to my default site. There's my default website, and here's all the stuff for it. Um, double click on directory browsing. I could, directory browsing has been disabled, I could enable it right here, but do we want it for the entire website? No, that's a bit blunt of a tool. I'm going to go just to directory one. Notice right here, directory one home. So just specifically for this directory, and notice I've got all these other options I can also set for directory one. Um, directory browsing, and I am going to enable it just for directory one. And just for giggles, I'm going to pull out the size and click on long date just to show that I've played with it. Then I'm going to apply. I don't have to restart the service or anything. I'm going to go back out to my browser and I'll do a shift reload. I don't really have to reload the page. The page, the HTML code of the page didn't change, did it? The rights changed. Directory 2 didn't work. Directory 1 works. And now all I've got to do is just click on one of these and boom, I've got it. I don't have anything in any of them, but that's it. Notice that missing is the file size and it does give a very long listing. So that's cool. If I wanted to, I could go back now to directory 2, directory browsing. Notice it's turned off as it should be by default. Okay. Let's um, look at this. Default documents. There is your list of default documents. What is a default document? That says if you don't supply a, a file name. Go digging through this list to find out what you would pull by default. So if I say website.com, boom, it's going to list a default document. And you can add and you can remove these however you want to. So index.html is in there. So how about I'm just going to say move up, move up, move up. Yeah, it's just telling me because I'm going to create an index.html in directory 1. Now then, don't even have to apply. Let's go back to my computer, C drive, pub, www root, directory 1. So if I create new document, index.html, it's going to cry. I'm going to change it. I'm going to right click on it and say open with notepad just so that we can see what we've hit. Control S to save. Another example of my lovely code. I hop out now, go to directory browsing. If I hit reload, pow. Now I don't get directory browsing. How come? Because it found my default document. If it finds a default document, that takes precedence over getting a, a directory. All right, one last little step just to kind of play with it. In, that's my file system. I'm back in the IS manage. Um, default website directory one. Directory one can have each directory cat can have its own default document. So if I double click on this, I can go through and say remove. Yes, 
click remove yes and it won't let me select all of them because this is kind of a goofy thing to do anyway remove yes but it proves my point remove yes now I have no default documents in that directory so when I go back out the index.html is still there if I want to click on it and look at it but since it is not listed as a default document anymore I have no choice but to make a decision on whether or not to offer a a directory of the a listing of the directory in this one in this case it's turned on so it worked that web config um, that's something new with with uh, Windows 2008 okay there we go okay one more thing to add we noticed and I overlooked this we did the directory browsing on directory one and talked about the default document and I went through and I went to all the trouble of pulling all those out and what's kind of a bummer about that is you'd have to recreate them but you also have revert to inherited bloop which would pop them all back in there so that's cool but instead of going through and deleting all of them there looks like there's a better way you can just say disable the default document and it gives you some pretty good little things there so let's see if we actually did what we think we did yeah it worked so alright that should be it